Hi everyone, welcome to Jubilee's Jungle. Today we're making this tree. Now this thing is pretty cool. Let me show you. So you can put it on like anything. On your arm, on your Bible, on a ukulele, on a water bottle. We're making this tree today because we're talking about Matthew 7, 16 through 20, which says you'll recognize them by their fruit. Are grapes gathered from thorn bushes or figs from thistles? In the same way, every good tree produces good fruit, but a bad tree produces bad fruit. A good tree can't produce bad fruit. Neither can a bad tree produce good fruit. Every tree that doesn't produce good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. So you'll recognize them by their fruit. Now Jesus isn't just talking about trees here. He's talking about people. If I go and stand in an apple orchard all day, does that make me an apple tree? Of course not. Unless I'm producing apples, I'm not an apple tree. The same way, if I go and stand in a church all day, that doesn't make me a follower of Jesus. Unless I'm producing that good fruit in my life that Jesus is talking about, that doesn't make me a follower of Jesus. The fruit that Jesus is talking about is the outward proof of the Holy Spirit working in us. And where does this fruit come from? Well, Proverbs 4, 23 says, Above all else, guard your heart, for everything you do flows from it. So it comes from the things that we plant and the things that we nurture and that we allow to grow in our heart. If you're planting and watering seeds in your heart that feed your friendship with Jesus and allow the Holy Spirit to work in you and to change your heart to make you more and more like Jesus every day, then you're going to be producing that good fruit that Jesus is talking about. And that comes from spending time in God's word every day so we know what he says, we know what he commands. It comes from spending time praying and listening to what God has to say to you. And it comes from making daily decisions according to what we know is true in God's word. And that's going to produce that fruit of the Spirit in your life. It's going to produce that love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. It's just going to overflow from your heart when you allow God to work in you. On the other hand, if you're planting and nurturing seeds in your heart that feed your friendship with sin and that feed the things that hurt God, yourself, and other people, it's going to produce bad fruit in your life. So that could come from the music you listen to, the television you watch, the video games you play. If they're violent, if they have bad language, or if they support things that God doesn't support, then that's planting and nurturing those bad seeds in your heart. It could also be the friends you hang around. If they pressure you to do things that go against what God says in his word, or if they, they pressure you into accepting or believing things that God says aren't true, then that's planting and nurturing those bad seeds in your heart, and it's going to be producing bad fruit. Jesus said that a good tree can't produce bad fruit, and a bad tree can't produce good fruit. So take some time and look at the things that are overflowing from your heart, the fruit that's being produced in your life, and ask God to teach you, to let him work in you, to produce that good fruit that Jesus is talking about. Start with six pieces of wire cut about 10 inches long and six pieces of cotton cord cut about 10 inches long. Hot glue one piece of cord to each wire. Now we're going to wrap each wire with brown yarn. You can add a glue dot or some hot glue at the starting end to keep it from unraveling as you go. Hold all of the wires together in one hand.
Starting around the middle, wrap them all together with brown yarn. Leave the wire slightly longer on one end to be the roots and slightly shorter on the other end to be the branches. Now let's make some pom-poms for the leaves. Wrap a bunch of green yarn around your fingers. Snip the loops of the pom pom. Comb the yarn to make it fluffy. You should make about three large and nine small pom-poms. Either tie the pom-poms to the branches using the extra yarn or hot glue them on. Glue a dark green or brown mini pom-pom to the end of each root. glue brightly colored mini pom-poms into the green to be the fruit. So now you have your own tree that you can put anywhere to remind you to be bearing that good fruit in your life. If you tried this craft, leave a comment below and let me know how it went. And don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the little notification bell so you'll never miss another Crafty Devo. I'll see you next time on Jubilee's Jungle.